Hello everyone and welcome to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So what we're going to do in this particular series is we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to start a new company, we're going to be driving routes, uh, unlocking new areas, hiring AI employees that will drive additional buses for us, make us more money so that we can continue to expand until eventually our ultimate goal is to expand across the entire uh, map that currently ships with the game and make as much money as we can. So that's our goal. But before we can get started, we need to start a new company. But before we can even do that, let's take a look at some of the settings within the game. Now, a lot of these settings I'm gonna be use, using based on uh, personal preference. So your taste may vary. Uh, mini map visibility, I'm gonna have it always on. I don't particularly like uh, some of the things about having to use things like the GPS, um, within the buses itself and we'll see that once we get into the game they're a little bit too small for me to depend on so i like to always have the mini map visible uh chat visibility this seems to be somewhat broken because right now you can see i have it's, it should only be on while in multiplayer but you're going to see that interface while we are in a uh, single player so something might be a little bit amiss with that right now uh, mirror visibility we'll be playing this game for the most part in first person but the mirrors will always be visible and I need all the help I can get because I tend to uh, underestimate the size of the bus when I'm driving even the smaller ones that we're gonna start out with and I tend to uh, hit stuff so I need all the help I can get with all the mirrors I can get all right let's move down to uh, some of the other input options we will not be using the mouse uh, to steer I'm actually going to be using my Logitech G920 wheel to do the steering. I have a separate video about the settings that I'm using uh, for that, so you can take a look at that here on uh, the channel. Uh, curve view, I, I do not like this at all. Basically what this means is as I turn the steering wheel, say to the right, to take a right hand uh, curve, the camera will automatically pan over to the right to sort of simulate my head moving in that direction. I don't like it, it's very disorienting in the game. I would just prefer that not to be on at all, so I turn that off. Force feedback uh, is currently at 20. That is a very light feel, but that's kind of what I want here uh, in the game. I'm not interested in a very heavy feel for this game. Brake strength factor, the brakes feel very good to me in the game based on the way I have um, my settings for the brake. Again, refer to uh, that setup video that I did for the G920 for more information on that. Uh, head movement, I have completely turned off. I'm not a fan of head movement in games. It's usually very disorienting and sometimes makes me feel sick with all of the, the vibrations and stuff that it does, so I generally turn that off. Uh, the NPC settings, we're gonna turn this down to medium, and I say turn it down because so far I've been playing with this on the high level, the maximum level, and things have been okay but I do feel like this could give us some extra uh, FPS by turning this down a little bit. And who knows, with the recording, that generally takes some of the CPU power, so we might need the extra help. All right, now, some of the event frequencies. These are things that are gonna happen uh, at random times during the game. We're gonna have some times where our pa the passengers will block the door and we'll have to ask them to move. Patient forgets to leave at their designated stop, and so while we're driving down the road, they let us know that they really need to get off, and it's going to be our decision as to whether or not we're going to stop on the side of the road and let them off before the next available stop. Uh, passenger listens to loud music. Now, you can see I've turned this. This is the one I've turned off. Uh, for all of these, medium is the default. I turned this one off simply because I don't want any issues with copyright and music. So the music is entirely off in this game, and I don't want to run into any potential issues with YouTube over that. So that's why I've turned that one off. Passengers will sometimes leave garbage behind, uh, coffee cups and things like that in the bus that we'll have to go and pick up from time to time. Uh, passenger forgets something valuable like their purse or who knows what they might leave in there. So we might have to uh, take that to them. And then every once in a while, we'll have a car that will be in the way of our bus stop and we'll have, the, have to honk the horn and get them uh, to move. So those are some of the, the options that we currently have available. Uh, under audio, again, not a whole lot here. The one thing I can tell you from the very beginning is I really wish I could hear the turn signal better. I can barely hear it in the game when it's on, so I have a hard time remembering whether or not I have it on. Uh, and this game gives you uh, XP 
for things that you cor do correctly, such as using your turn signals, using the brake uh, in a smooth fashion rather than slamming on the brakes, not running red lights, that kind of thing. So just ordinary traffic behavior, they give you good and bad XP for for doing things good or, or not so good, and that helps you to level up and unlock certain things like uh, colors that you can paint your buses, uh, skins that you can apply to buses, uh, just different things like that, as well as the most important thing for us, which is as we level up, we will open up new areas of the map. So we definitely want to be doing things uh, the best we can, and uh, using our turn signal is a big part of that, and sometimes I can't hear it to tell that I've got it on, so uh, we'll try to do that uh, visually. So some of the things that I've done, I've turned down the bus engine, which is not very overwhelming at all. Uh, it's It almost, to me, sounds like an electric bus in a lot of cases because the engine is not very uh, does not have a, a very loud effect in the game, but I've turned it down to about half anyway just to try to help out a little bit with hearing some of the other things that are going on. But other than that, uh, I've turned the music completely off as we talked about a little bit earlier. And other than that, we are ready to go. So let's get our new company started. We're going to name our new company. Let's name it Knee Pit Transportation. Uh, enable bankruptcy. I'm going to turn this off just because I don't care, but I don't want to have any issues where we go out of business. Uh, this is for a uh, a playthrough that we're doing on YouTube. So what's the point of having ourselves go out of business? Driving mode. Now, this is something I've played around a little bit with. They're simplified and realistic. Um, I was very excited to try realistic. I thought maybe the feel of of the bus would be different. Um, it's really not. I could tell no difference in the driving. What differences I did notice uh, with simplified versus realistic in realistic, there are certain things that you won't have, such as a speed limiter. Uh, you also, in realistic mode, you will have to uh, switch gears, so you'll have a manual transmission in the buses that actually have that in real life. So uh, there's also some other things, like you'll have to lock and unlock individual doors rather than all at once. So those things I'm really not interested in. Uh, those don't really add to the gameplay for me and add to the fun. So we're going to leave it on simplified. There are already a lot of things we can control in this game, uh, even on Simplified, so I don't see any reason to add more to that, particularly because I don't think they add to the immersion for me and the fun for me. So let's go ahead and hit Create. Now, we're going to be starting off with the tutorial. Let's let everything get uh, loaded up. Now, the tutorial is just going to give us some of the basics as you would imagine, but it's going to give us our first glimpse at sort of the, some of the controls and let you guys see exactly uh, some of the things we have to do before we can get started. Now, customization. We only have one male and one female model in the game. Let's go over to the female model real quick, and there you go. Uh, I'm not terribly impressed with the player modeling here, but fortunately, uh, especially since we're gonna be playing this thing in first person mode probably 100% of the time, or close to it, this really isn't going to uh, be a big deal for us, but we're going to be using the mail, and I've already set up some sort of defaults that it keeps from time to time for me. So we're going to go ahead and finish that off. But again, we will very rarely see our individual. In fact, one of the few times that I think I've seen him is oh, right now at the oh, very yeah. beginning. I'm glad to see you again. I hope the traffic wasn't too nasty. Anyway, look at this sweet Mercedes Citaro K. It's straight off the lot over in Sunny Springs. Of course, it's a smaller model, but I'm sure everyone in town will be hopping onto this bus and our little project in no time. All right, so this is going to be our first bus, and this will be sort of our instructor for the tutorial portion. Uh, but before we get in, I do want to let you know you can get out and walk around in this game. Uh, even while we're on the route, the bus route, we can get out and walk around at any time. Now that's going to have negative effects obviously toward our times and uh, our passenger morale, that kind of thing, but you can get out and walk around the city. In fact, I saw the devs uh, even talking about they encourage people to do so because there's some things uh, that are hidden around the city, some hidden gems for you to find. But before we can get in, this is one of those differences between the simplified and realistic. All we have to do here is come to the front and unlock the front door. If you're on realistic, you have to unlock 
uh, each of the doors individually and some things like that. But again, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into Great. the cockpit. I'll just take a seat over there while you make yourself comfortable in the driver's seat. Okay. Again, once we get past the tutorial, she will no longer be with us. But now there's a few things we need to do. If you want to move into third person uh, view, you can do that with the mouse. I simply scrolled backwards on the mouse wheel. And now we're in third person and we can move the camera around. If I want to go back to first person, the easiest Take way... Take your time to familiarize yourself with the controls. Don't forget to close the doors and remember to turn on the lights. All right, so the easiest way is just use the mouse uh, scroll wheel for that. So we need to turn on the lights, close the door, all of that sort of thing. So I have a button mapped to close all of the doors rather than just the front or the rear. So we're going to press that button. All the doors are closed. Now we need to turn on the lights. So we've got some options for that. And as we look around the cockpit, there are there's a lot of things all right so there's a driver window here we can open and close that we'll leave it closed for now there's some buttons over here i don't think are operational no but right here we have the lights which are operational and you can see as i mouse over these uh, it lets me know which button is assigned to those in case i want to use the button so we'll turn the passenger lights on which would be these overhead lights i believe the cockpit lights and then the cashier lights which will be uh, sort of over here at the ticket machine and then we've got our high beams or the far lights right here which we don't uh, need we also it wants us to activate the cockpit zoom which is the right mouse button so we can zoom in on anything there we go so now we need to turn on the ignition which is pressing i three times there we go now we need to turn on the lights which we can do by hitting l or I'm actually going to use the dial here. Turn uh, that twice. Maybe a bit taller than the driver who delivered the bus. Don't forget to adjust your seat after you've started up the engine. All right. So for me, I'm actually going to leave this right where it is. It, if anything, it might be a little bit taller than I would prefer. But for now, I'm going to leave it uh, alone. One thing I am going to do is turn off these cockpit lights. I do not want those on. It's a little bit too much light for me. Now, the driving position normally would be something like this. I'm going to leave it down just a little bit simply so that I can see. This is where the turn signal indicator will be. And so I'm going to try to leave it to where that is um, available. All right, so it wants me to mess Are around with this. So I did that just enough to get it past Valley? that. Great. Then release the parking brake. Right. And let's release the parking brake, and here we go. So this is a an automatic transition bus transmission rather oh, uh, so we don't have to worry about switching gears even if we were in realistic Just driving the route on the GPS. all right now brings us to one of the issues that I'm having right now with the game the look left and right you cannot map it to the steering wheel so I have to to use have to use the keyboard for that steel all right let's see if I can get through here without running over anybody or anything that is a task in and of itself because I'm sure I'm going to be hitting a lot of stuff as time goes on. All right, remembering to use the turn signal. Like the traffic rules, I live in the U.S. So I have no idea what the traffic is doing in this game most of the time. They will take turns going, but I have no idea what they're doing. In some ways, it looks like it's almost... Uh, as if they're obeying like a four-way stop type rules, but it's a little odd for me for sure. So I'm sure for those of you who live in Europe, this is going to be something that will probably fit right in and you'll pick up on it immediately. Now, one of the things we're going to need to do that it hasn't told us yet. Yeah, there we go. It just popped up. Is turn on the speed limiter. So I'm going to press Z right now to make sure we don't get any speeding tickets. So the feel of the driving, um, it feels very smooth to me. There's in this particular bus, this is our starter bus, and it is not very powerful. Uh, I can go from zero to full throttle with no issues and it doesn't jerk or anything. So the acceleration is very smooth in this model and the steering feels very smooth. Now it doesn't feel like a big heavy bus, so that could be a downside to some people, but for me, 
Good morning, Miss Tyler. Uh, it feels Glad very, could make it. very Hello, fun Mira. to drive. Thank it's not very challenging me. at all. Hey, Sam. How's your daughter? Thanks, Mira. She's been really busy lately. Wow. She is extremely loud. So let's go ahead. I've turned her down a few different times, and I'm still. So dialogue. Let's turn her down to point two there. Again, she won't be with us for very much longer. All right, so we've got the action camera. I'm not sure why they call it the action camera. There's not a whole lot of action that goes on. People getting off the bus, but or it looks like everybody is on. Let's go ahead and close the doors back. There we go. Check our mirrors. Nobody coming. Turn signal on, and we're on our way. So if you look at the GPS, one of which is on our... Uh, sort of right in front of us down toward the right hand side or the one I generally like to use is on the bottom left hand side of the screen a little bit bigger and that tells us where we're going and it tells us each stop like we're coming up on a stop here to the right but it is not currently on our route so you'll notice that it is not uh, highlighted on the mini map or on the GPS all right let's slow down I'm going to try to stop back far enough, just far enough that I can see the uh, green light whenever it is on. Although, uh, unfortunately, it does not show as green. I really wish it would show as green in the game. That might have been something for, uh, it's a very light color green, but it's not easily recognizable. That might have been uh, something for uh, the colorblind folks. I'm not sure. If that's the case, then I'm perfectly fine with that. It's going pretty well so far, isn't it? The next stop is All right, so you notice that... Oh, look out. We're going to have our first collision here if they're not careful. You notice that everything, the speed is in kilometers per hour uh, with no option to change that to miles per hour. Our speed limiter keeps us at 50 or under here in within the city limits. Let's go ahead and press F2. See if anybody needs any tickets here. Remember, that was one of the uh, the options. Yeah, there we go. Nobody needed any tickets this time. Let's go ahead and close the doors. I think we've got them all now. Did you know that this bus has a blue tech diesel engine? Okay, let's go ahead and put turn signal on and head back out into traffic. Again, I'm gonna to try to use all of the turn signals correctly that I can remember to do simply so that we can get as much XP and level up as quickly as we can. We're also going to try to avoid any potholes or anything like that in the street as well as the obvious trying to avoid hitting any pedestrians or other cars which will be easier said than done for me as time goes on. All right, so far so good. I don't think we've hit anything or done anything too disastrous. All right, so like right here, we have a yield sign and a light. So there's the light, uh, which doesn't seem to mean much as we turn. So yeah, just trying to get used to all of the different things with regards to the traffic rules that they've put in the game. A little bit different there. Turning left on green it would be a sort of a normal thing not to have a light for. All right, you saw the speed limit sign there. We can get up to 70 kilometers per hour out in this area as we're headed out of the city and getting us out sort of into the countryside. Now one of the things you might notice that is really uh, catching my eye is as we go through the LODs, the levels of detail, you can see the trees popping in uh, the different levels of detail that is bugging me uh, I really wish they would do something about that in fact we might here momentarily see if we can't do something with that uh, I noticed a a wheelchair passenger so we'll put out the ramp this time swap to our action camera Right, I noticed someone also needs a ticket. Okay, looks like we're good there. Oh, a door seems to be blocked. Of course, it's the person who needs a ticket. 
So let's go ahead and click on our ticket machine. Now this is a bit finicky. All right, he requests a single ticket. You can see that up here at the top of the screen. So a single ticket and a student ticket. And how many do they need? Just one? Okay, just one. So let's print that. And then you have to give back change. Now this has been the source of quite a bit of frustration for me because some of these keys don't show up just right whenever you click on them. Okay, that one seemed to work out. Sometimes you'll hit the 10 and it'll uh, register 20 and so on. Let's go ahead and click off of that. Now we can close our doors. And we'll try to get everything lined up. Okay, and as soon as we're clear, oh, looks like that car is going to stop and let us in. So we're off and running. All right, again, we can go a little bit faster out in this area up to 70. Oh, there we go. That was a pothole that I missed. So you see in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to ding me for that. We'll see if it caused any damage to the bus, then we'll lose a little bit of money. Otherwise, we'll just lose a little bit of XP. And we'll get to see our breakdown of XP once we're done. We could actually see it right now if we wanted to, but all right, let's try to get out here in traffic very quickly before they catch us. All right, let's see which way this thing wants us to go. All right, it wants us to turn right here, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Trying to be really smooth on the braking so that the passengers don't complain and we don't lose any XP. So one thing you have to be careful of doing here is do not hold your foot on the brake while you're stopped. And the reason is that will trigger reverse if you do that. So I've done that a couple of times and that did not turn out well. All right, so we're trying to turn left. It looks like a lot of people ahead of us are also doing that. Also in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you can see a countdown clock. Two minutes, 44 seconds right now. Oh, look at that. Everything has opened up for us. So that's how much time we have to get to our next stop. If we don't make it in time, then we could lose XP because the uh, our customers would know that we're running late and they do not appreciate that. All right, so we're coming up on our next stop, which might actually be our last stop. I can't remember. Now, right here, I have no idea who's supposed to go. I didn't actually catch the signs right there. That's always good. All right, here we go. On our, our last stop, I heard her say briefly, terminal stop. There we go. Let's put on our brake. Let's go ahead and put out the ramp first. We have to do that before we open the doors. All right, there we go. That should take care of it. Okay, so I think everybody is off. Now, at this point, we could always get off the bus and walk around. So, in fact, let's do that real quick. So we can get off, uh, as well as walking around outside, we can walk around inside. This is where uh, we would receive notification that says somebody left some trash. We would simply go around and pick it up. So this is what the inside of the bus looks like. Let's go ahead and hop back in. All right, bring our ramp back in and then we'll close the doors. Hi, that's everyone. The route to the garage is marked on the GPS. Let's head there and call it a day. All right, so that's the end of our first route. We'll head back to the bus garage. So again, the goal here is to drive as clean and safely as you possibly can. The safely part is what's going to be a stretch for me. And then the, the cleaner and safer you can drive, the more money you will accumulate and then the faster that you can 
upgrade your buses, hire more people, that sort of thing. So again, the handling of the buses, I wasn't really sure what to expect, but it's definitely not a heavy feel to it. Um, I have the force feedback turned down quite a bit, so that might have something to do with it. But right now, this is a good feel for me. I'm not looking for, you know, a, a really extreme level of challenge or something. Just a, a casual, fun game that I can play. Okay, looks like it's our turn to go. Let's see if I can get through here. Ooh, that was real close. Okay, we made it. Now you can see the arrow pointing to the right up ahead. Alright, we're going to try not to hit any pedestrians. And let's miss that, that water. There we go. I think we're lined up fairly good. Or about as good as I'm going to get it anyway. Now let's see if we can get inside the depot. This is extremely narrow. There we go. Park and brake. And let's turn off all the lights. There we go. Remember, we'd already turned off the cockpit light. And there we go. Turn off the ignition. And I believe we're done. Let me just collect my things. Yeah, we'll exit the cockpit. Yeah, I don't know that we're getting out on this side, though. <laughs> we need some doors on the other side. Let me show you real quick. All right, so that takes care of that. Now, on a normal uh, basis, you don't have to actually drive back to uh, the bus garage or anything like that. You have an option to just simply hit end and and end the route whenever you're at your your last spot. Just to see how many people would use it, they'll finance an additional bus for you in return. I've already prepared a route for this and spread the word. Select the pre-existing route and drive it by night. Okay. Thankfully, we're almost done with her, or at least with her being here on a regular uh, basis. So now here are our current objectives. You see several things that we can look at on the left-hand side. Most of these aren't going to be very useful just yet because we haven't done a whole lot. So statistics, you can see. Nothing there just yet. Route planner. This is where we're going to be able to add new routes. Uh, particularly, this is going to be a great thing as we add uh, more buses to our fleet. We also have the ability to, if you look up here, edit a route and add or remove, reorder uh, bus stops along the way. So we can do all of that from this particular schedule. Also, at the very bottom, if we highlight a particular schedule, what we will see is, as we continue with the game, it will tell us the amount of money that we've made from that particular stop, uh, or that particular route, rather, uh, in the past. So we really want to do our best job at running that route because what will happen is once we hire an employee to take over that route and we add new routes and continue on with those, then the employee, if it's a beginning employee, will start out earning half of that amount for us and then as they gain experience, they will uh, get more money. But so the better we do whenever we run a route, the better the AI does when running a route. So we always want to keep that in mind. So this gives you the route time, just a little over five minutes to do this one. So let's go ahead and highlight this one. Start the drive. This is our starter bus. We can see some of the details here. 28 seats, 18 standing locations. Uh, we'll definitely get into much larger uh, buses going forward with the capability of carrying a lot more passengers. All right, so we need to drive this at night. So let's turn on night. Uh, quick start. That's perfectly fine. Uh, and our route settings, we don't want to reverse the route. We don't want to loop it, which would simply mean that it would all connect. And our final stop would then turn into a connection to our back to the first stop and so on. Uh, round trips off. All of these are by default. Now you've got the too early event. This will simply mean that once we get to a bus stop, if we leave too early, then the, the uh, passengers will complain about that and we could lose 
XP or reputation, whatever you want to call it, for the game. We also have the option to turn on or off the cashier so that we would have to uh, generate tickets. Now, this happens fairly often in the game, so we'll see how that goes, and who knows, at some point in the future, once we've done enough of these, we might turn this off. We'll just have to see. So driving simulation, I'm going to leave this simplified again because I couldn't really tell much of a difference, if any, as far as the handling goes, and that's really all I'm concerned about. All right, so here we are. It starts us right out here on on the street. So we're going to pull into our very first stop. Let's go ahead and open the doors. Let everybody get in. Okay, so we got. Oh, we need. We got somebody who needs a ticket. All right, let's click on our ticket machine. We need a single, regular, and only a quantity of one. They need seven. I'm going to call it dollars and eighty cents. I know that's not in dollars, but. And let's see if we get this thing to work right. So fifty, twenty, and ten. Okay, it took it. Whew, thank goodness. It's bad whenever you have to worry about about whether or not the game is going to register the buttons you're clicking correctly. Alright, looks like the coast is clear. Let's pull out and head on to our next stop. So we still got, by default, uh, our limiter on. So we're limited to around 50 kilometers per hour on our speed at least within the city areas. And if there are any situations that arise on the bus while we're driving, they'll pop up on the screen so we don't have to worry about missing anything uh, for the most part. Thought that was a pothole there for a second on the right hand side. All right, here we come to our second stop. Smooth on the brakes, turn the indicator on. There we go. Let's see if anybody needs any tickets here at this stop. Now we can also check for, yeah, there we go. We can also check to make sure everybody has a ticket so we don't have any ticket uh, dodgers. One, there we go. Oh, thank you very much for having the correct change. All right, so we need a, a day ticket, regular, and quantity of one. All right, so 50, 20, there we go. Okay, took that one. So, so far, so good. Let's close the doors. Looks like everybody is on and has a seat. And we are off. We are up and running. The pure excitement that is Bus Simulator. All right, again, trying to avoid all the little obstacles on the road so that we don't lose any XP or reputation as they call it. So again, if you're looking for a very challenging experience, uh, then I can't, I can't recommend this game if you're looking for a challenging experience with driving a bus. But if you're looking for something that is just a very Oh, there we go. We need a ticket here. If you're looking for something that is simply uh, a very slow-paced and fun experience, then yes, this will fit that bill quite nicely. Oh, thank you for the exact change. All right, so what do we need? We needed a senior quantity of one. There we go. So it looks like everybody is on board. Let's go ahead and all right we're off and running so again the better job that we do oh here comes one of those obstacles now so we're going to go very slow over this so we don't disrupt the passengers and get any complaints there we go sometimes those are kind of hard to spot until it's almost too late All right, coming up on our next stop ahead. And in the future, we'll be able to set up these routes and then edit them as we need to. All right, 
Let's see if we got some people getting off here. Or on. No, not really seeing it. You see our clock in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave. There we go. So far, so good. Try to get out of here before this truck comes up behind us. So our goal again is to earn as much XP as we possibly can by being on time. And you see now we have 55 seconds to get to our next stop. I think we should be able to meet that with no problem. I have had instances where the, uh, the AI driving was uh, less than stellar. I actually had a couple of collisions that for that reason. All right, anybody? Yeah, we got a few people getting off here. I don't see anybody hopping on. Oh, we have completed the route. I didn't realize that was going to be our last one. Give everybody a moment to get off. Okay, let's go ahead and close back up. And you can see here it says hit end to end the trip immediately. I'm going to go ahead and do that for now. Now we get our first opportunity here to really see how much money we've earned. All right, there we go. We've leveled up. So what have we unlocked? A new decal, a wrap for our bus, and then a new color. Wow, I'm not sure we're going to use that color, but we got it. So let's take a, a brief look at what we have. So five times we got uh, good marks for using our, uh, our blinker whenever we were coming up to a bus stop. Five times we got stopping in uh, the right spot. Knelt at the bus stop. It does that automatically, so that's interesting. Not sure how that one. Uh, four times we were on time, so that's good. So a lot of good things there. Notice we don't have any uh, bad things. and that's, So we must have been going slow enough over uh, that bump and all of the obstacles that we needed to miss on the road. We managed to do so. Now our bus stops. We can actually increase their value by using them on our route and also you know showing up on time things like that so as we level these up we can earn more money from each of these stops so they will become uh, worth more revenue to us so now we're at level two and this time we made 16.6 thousand again i'm going to call it dollars even though i believe that's the euro sign just because that's what i'm used to saying so you can see our current drive, we made about $100. And you say, okay, how do we get from 100 to 16,600? Well, what it does is the game is trying to speed things up for you uh, financially. And obviously, if we only made $100 from this route, how many times would we have to drive this route to make any serious amount of money that would be enough to buy additional buses? Well, the game tries to speed that up by every time we drive a route, it simulates a week's worth of that route. That's why you see, you see totally weekly income. So it's trying to uh, speed things up financially and show us with that amount. We'll click on the OK button. There is our uh, graph that will show exactly the amount of money and routes and so on that we have done so far. Uh, ads are going to be a big thing for us going forward. We have not yet unlocked those. Those are going to be a way for us, for us to earn money by having ads uh, on the sides of our buses as soon as we get to that. So we had nine passengers total on our one route. Okay, not bad. Took us just under six minutes to do it. I think I'm being very liberal with the amount of time I spend at each bus stop. I believe that's one of the things that's doing it. Okay, let's go ahead and return to the map. And now you can see the rest of our objectives. So we need to paint the bus create a new route, drive that route, and then we need to expand that route and then drive that as well. So very, very simple objectives. Again, we're still very much in the beginning stages of the game, so it's sort of hand-holding us through the process. But for now, let's actually go into the bus garage. Let's look at my buses, which is where we are, and then we want to customize. Okay, let's go ahead and skip this part of the tutorial. And this is where we can paint one of our buses. So I can move this thing around. In fact, let's move it around, yeah, about right there. Uh, let's look at the colors. Primary color, a lot to be unlocked. But for right now, ooh, I like that purple. Uh, let's go with this color. 
sort of a darker red color. And let's see, what do we have here for white? Okay, yeah, that's really not a secondary color. That is doing the same function as our main color, or even blending. Okay, so we're not going to mess with that. Uh, the skins. We have a few skins available right now, and you can see what these patterns do to the bus as we mouse over these. This is actually not a bad skin here. I kind of like that one. Let's keep that one for now. And then the interior. If we zoom in here a little bit, we can see our interior. And so we got default or we got the alternative. Uh, I think we're going to stick with the default for now. And then we can add decals uh, later on. Right now we only have a few, but we have the ability. You can see there it is on the top. We can move it around, resize it, and then do some things like that uh, that we want to do. But for right now, we don't want any decals. All right, so we're going to hit apply. All right, let's head back to the route planner. You can see paint the bus that has been taken care of. So we need to create a new route. And the key is every time you make a change to a route, you need to drive it. And the reason is everything the AI does is based off of what you have done on the route. So if you create a new route and then don't drive it, the AI, if you in the future uh, apply them to that route, they won't make any money either because you didn't make any money. So that's a key thing that is very easy to miss. Anytime you create a new route, make sure that you drive it sometimes multiple times to make sure that you get the most money out of that route, uh, the least amount of time, that kind of thing, so that once you assign an AI to that route, they will make the most amount. All right, so those are pretty simple goals. And you can see 130000 for that. Uh, that will be plenty enough money for us to purchase a second bus, but we're running low on time in this particular video, so we're going to call it right here. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18.